We've got a lot of stuff to open today. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Graham from Aquarium so Adventures. And Goldfink. Not exactly original yeah, though, two is pieces it? Bit of one. We're watching Peck Tech. Mm. We're watching Peck Tech. Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech. Get ready for Black Friday, the mailbag edition. Found a lot of great deals. And uh, I can't wait to show you all of them. Let's get started with the November My Aquarium Box a few days late. Because I know it's not November anymore by the time you're seeing this. <laughs> And of course, as always, I like to start with uh, the My Aquarium box. This is the November My Aquarium box. And uh, it's a little bit extra special this month because I also won the Mega Box. 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 Filter, a really cool canister filter. And I'll be sure to include that in a future project. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. So if you'd like to win a Mega Box and you're buying one of these anyway, why don't you just film a video of it and share it with hashtag my aquarium box. These guys are always looking for a new contestant to possibly win a mega box and they're good prizes. They're really good prizes. I was given a special opening gift by a visitor to my household. Sean, this is the very best box opening device I've ever seen. Hands down. I want you to have it. I'm going to give it to you right now. It's yours. Ooh. River Life was here in my house. He was my first ever YouTube buddy uh, visitor to have at the house. So that was kind of a special thing. Uh, what I learned about Rack is that his big pastime, his other hobby when he's not looking at fish, is birding, bird watching. Ooh, let's see how this beauty flies. Oh, nice. Another interesting thing is the only other second visitor that I've had to my house uh, was the very next day. His name's Ted Judy, who you might know from uh, Custom Aquariums. And his big hobby, his big pastime is birding. So lots of birds, lots of birdie friends over to the house. And yet we looked at no birds. All right, all right, the box is freed and we will take a look inside. Oop, there's a little note. Special note, what could it be? Ha! Hey, Panda Boy, slam this fireball and dig through the trash. One thing I learned about uh, Mike is he really likes a particular type of alcohol called fireball. And uh, we'll have to, maybe we'll partake of this in just a minute. Anyway, this month's My Aquarium Box has a value of $42.95. There's the contents. Alright, what else we got in here? We have the Mega Box winners, one of which is Is Me, and the winner of the free My Aquarium Box that you can get uh, by posting a picture of this on Facebook. What else we got here? We have some coupons from their sponsors, which is really cool, including uh, Beto Oasis Farms, Tidal Gardens, H2O Plants, and Beantown Aquatics. Okay. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, we got some media bags. Oh, these are like really nice industrial ones. That's a Velcro strap opening here. They're branded my aquarium box. It's kind of neat. Doesn't make it work any better, but it's kind of cool. These are nice, thick media bags. Very handy. Very handy. I've, I've taken to adding a bunch of media to my sump. Uh, more media than I need, simply to take it out and put it in a new tank when it starts. It is super handy for getting your tank going really fast. All right, there's two of those. And it looks like I've got some leaves. Lots of leaves. I told I told Greg while I was up there I wanted to start a blackwater tank. And uh, he said he'd hook me up. 
make sure I was off to the right start. These are grade A Indian almond leaves. Very, very nice. A lot in there, too. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, we have a little sponge. This is sort of like a Mr. Eraser. I think Seachem actually sells one of these things kind of also. Uh, glass only, not for acrylic. I use these a lot. Uh, if you get them, if they rub against rocks and stuff, they'll rip apart. But if you can manage to kind of keep it off your, your um, hardscape and you really hit the glass, this is great, especially in corners and places like that. Love that stuff. Great for cleaning up. Got some chola wood, which I love. You guys know how much I like this stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Color enhancing omni pellets. A little bit of pelletized food. And last but not least, we have this. And uh, what do they call it? Flood Buzz Pro. Now, what this is is a water alarm. I had a lot of fun playing with this at the aquatic experience. And uh, in fact, I think I was annoying Greg a little bit because I would always test it like this. It's got a little area at the bottom where water can get through. And if these two probes are connected by liquid or just your tongue, makes a really loud alarm which uh, might help you if something suddenly starts to leak, especially during a water change. It's super handy to leave in a sump uh, area or some place like that, maybe the corner of your fish room, if you've got a big fish room or something like that. Uh, super handy, could help you realize that a leak is happening. And that is all the My Aquarium Box stuff. And that, folks, is a pretty cool haul of stuff from my aquarium box for November. Very awesome. But let's put this away because I've got even more stuff to show you. Now I will add this to my collection. I guess I could break into this. Here's to you, Mike. Dilly dilly. Do you have to do that with beer? Can you dilly dilly with a, some fireball? I'm sure that's going to help my productivity. Now, as you guys know, <clears throat> still clearing out. <clears throat> now, a lot of you guys know Loop Diesel or Rob from Flip Aquatics. <clears throat> I've met him a couple of times, always at the aquatic experience. He is a really, really sweet guy. He's a really, really nice man. I wish to God I had more time to talk to him. He's always surrounded by people because he's kind of taken it upon himself to sort of host a YouTube booth every year or the past couple of years. <clears throat> and the first year I met him, I didn't really know who he was too well. And, um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to talk to him. This year while I was over at his booth, I saw that he had these really cool little bonsai trees. Now, you guys may remember in an episode a while back, I'd gotten uh, one of these from Houston Manzanita. And uh, I thought it was really neat. I used it in my aquarium downstairs, the 16-gallon, for a while, but then I ended up taking it out. It's actually still going. I've got it in the bottom of my 56-gallon upstairs. I decided to get a couple more, along with uh, a whole bunch of Amano shrimp. Amano shrimp I love. I'm having trouble finding them here lately. Uh, so I put in an order with Rob. Got some trees. Got some shrimp. Here's the first one I opened because I was so curious. But uh, let's open a couple more. Take a look. There's really not much to say with the shrimp. Amano shrimp aren't particularly exciting. They are, bar none, the best algae eaters around. I ordered about 10 of them. And they arrived in really good condition. And uh, just put them in my tank and they're still doing good. There's one, and the other one. <clears throat> Rob has all kinds of shrimp. He's actually not too far from here. I'd really love to make a trip up there, so I don't know, Rob, if you're listening and you'd like a visitor, 
let me know. I wouldn't mind a little road trip up there to see what's got to be the biggest tank I've ever seen for shrimp. He put up together like a, I think it's 450 gallon tank. I saw him throw like a hundred and something Amano shrimp in there. That's a lot of shrimp. That's a big tank. I haven't seen every video on it, so I don't know everything he's going to do with it, but it's pretty exciting, really. I mean, that's such a huge aquarium. These things, these things are so cool, man. I really love these. Of course, you know me. I'm into anything that's miniaturized, anything that's small. I just love it. And I thought it would be fun to do like a whole tank of these versus just like one sitting on a hill. It kind of seemed out of place. I think it'd be a lot more fun to do a bunch of these. So I bought three and they can kind of go with the one that I've got already. He actually had a lot more of these. I got in it kind of late and uh, there was, there's was kind of a limited selection of what was left, but, uh, I'm really happy with these. These are these are great little tree-like things. Now, don't ask me exactly what these are made of. I'm told that they're like uh, old bonsai trees that have been dried out or something like that. They're, they're more than likely they're a root to something. They've all obviously got some stuff glued on here, probably to weight them down a little bit. Uh, some of them do anyway. This one doesn't seem to. Yeah, actually it kind of seems like there's almost like wood putty or something kind of putting this together. I think they all do it in different ways, uh, the different places that make these things, but this is kind of neat. So at some point in the, in the future, I will be doing a, a tank with these little bonsai trees and uh, really happy with my order from Flip Aquatics. Thank you, Rob. Set these aside. All right, so normally I really don't have to order fish or anything like that. I've, I've got a great aquarium store and um, some people, not a lot of people, but a couple of people have mentioned, you know, hey, you're always talking about buying stuff on Amazon. You're always talking about uh, ordering stuff online. Why don't you go to your local fish store and shop? And the answer is I do. I shop there a lot. The thing is we can't all, you know, you being the viewer, uh, will more than likely not be able to shop at the same store I do. And I bet you wish you did because it's one of the best stores in Tennessee. But I do shop there a lot and I have picked up some new fish this, this month. My favorite new and kind of oddball fish is the Half Beak. I've never had them before. I've got them going in the Spec 16 gallon right now. They seem to be doing okay. I think I, start, I started off with four. I lost one. Uh, it just kind of disappeared into the aquarium somewhere. I haven't found a body or anything, but I don't see it coming up to eat. So my guess is it's died in there somewhere. The other thing I got is uh, some neurite snails. I think I pronounced that right. I've never actually said it out loud. <laughs> I've got their type of snail that doesn't breed uh, in freshwater aquariums. I believe they need brackish water. I probably am wrong. Uh, but they're very hardy snails, uh, really good algae eaters, supposedly. And they come these really, really awesome sort of interesting uh, patterns. Like I got these a uh, couple of zebra ones and I've got another one that sort of has dots and stuff. I put them in a couple of different tanks and we're just kind of, uh, we'll just see how they do. One thing I really noticed from these guys is they don't seem to move around a lot. I mean, they kind of hang out in one spot and then that's where they are. I see them moving just enough to know they're alive. But yep, that's some new acquisitions I want to make sure to tell you guys about. Then of course, Black Friday came. And my store, like many stores, had a big Black Friday sale and I picked up a couple of things. One thing I picked up, and it's kind of hard to see because of the black background, is this four gallon tank. It's got a, it's got a pad built on the bottom of it, which is really neat. It's got an internal, oh, it's gonna be really hard to see. There's a receipt in there. <laughs> It's got an area for a filter on the inside. It didn't come with a pump or any filter material or anything like that, or a lid for that matter. And a little space in the front uh, for aquascaping and keeping your fish. That's kind of a neat little four gallon tank. Uh, this was only about 30 bucks. The brand name on it is Hydra Aquatics. Uh, I don't know if you can get them online. I don't know where you can find these, 
So don't ask me. <laughs> or if you do ask me, I'll just say you come to Knoxville and you can come shop at the aquarium in Knoxville and that's where I got mine. But I thought it would be kind of a neat. I'd like to set up another betta tank. I've start, sort of gotten betta fever. Uh, Mike from Mass Aquariums has <laughs> just discovered bettas somehow. And uh, he set up his spec five gallon and I've been seeing some other people doing some things. So this will either be maybe a, a, a small shrimp tank or maybe a betta tank. Uh, maybe something I'll take for work or something like that. It's got a really large filter area for the size tank it is. I'm not sure. <laughs> Not sure I'm super happy about that, but I got a great deal on it. And uh, I'm looking forward to setting it up. Another thing that I picked up at the Black Friday sale this weekend is this little shrimp dish. And this is basically a little glass feeding bowl. Uh, they actually have all different types of products. And I just kind of wanted something out of there, but it's a really beautiful little feeding bowl. It's kind of nice little etched glass design. It's sort of hard to see uh, on the bottom. And what you can do with this is just kind of keep all the food in one place. So if you're doing a shrimp tank and you're trying to keep it really clean, you just make sure your food ends up in this little dish here and uh, it won't go all over the tank. So the shrimp know just where to get it and they can clean it up efficiently and nothing will just fall into the rocks and the gravel and stuff like that. And this will be included in a future project. And then there's that. Yes, that's right, folks. I drank the Kool-Aid. I bought a big Kessel Light. So I know I'm long overdue on a update on the 200 gallon tank downstairs, the big tank. And uh, a lot of people have wondered, you know, how things are doing, how the lights are working and stuff like that. The answer is the lights are working good. They're working okay, like the plants aren't dying, but they don't seem to be thriving either. I think uh, with Anubis and Java Fern and, and most things like that, you could probably keep them alive in a big tank, even with those smaller Kessel lights. But I'm kind of curious about what would happen if I'd moved up to the bigger ones. So I went ahead and picked up this, it's A360WE. It is a freshwater light. And it will plug into the controller along with the other lights. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap one of the lights out, probably the middle light for this one, and just kind of see what I think. And if I really like it, then the mailbag episodes will be really short for the next couple of months. <laughs> So I'll be saving it up for two more. These things are not cheap. These are so expensive. I mean, I would even, like, there's a part of me that even wants to say ridiculously expensive. The thing is, there's no denying the quality of these lights. The ones that I've been using so far have been great. There's no way a small light like that normally would, would achieve what it has. And even my oldest light on the 27-gallon cube it's been growing plants like a champ. Even when the CO2 went off. That's CO2. I haven't, I used to have CO2 run into that tank. I haven't had CO2 in there for over a year. And the plants are still growing like crazy. Now they're crips. They don't really need CO2. That's true. But I tell you what, a good light makes a huge difference. Holding this in my hand, it's like, it's much smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> It does have this dense matrix LED. It's got a little glass bubble above that. It's probably hard to see. And uh, an LED in there. The spectrum of lights that is perfect for growing plants. I, think, I believe, I might be wrong about this, but I believe Kessel started off uh, making lights for orchids and orchid gardens and stuff like that. And now there's this. It actually doesn't come with a lot Okay, so we've got a power brick. We've got this other long cord, looks pretty long. Uh, it kind of works as an extension cord. And the light itself, along with uh, some hooks and stuff to help you mount it up. It does come with this loop, the gooseneck attachment. This will unscrew and the gooseneck 
will screw into the back of here and allow you to just put that on there. That's what I'm going to have to do to get this mounted. So hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks I'll have this hooked up on my aquarium and I can look and see how it really works and decide if I want to spend another several hundred dollars <laughs> to get two more. Unfortunately, even the bigger ones, I think they only make, uh, they only service like a two foot uh, area circle, circle of aquarium. They just do it at a much brighter capacity. Okay, so I promised you guys a while back after when I did the bettas versus cichlids video that I would tell you the results. And if you're curious, here are the results from the voting so far. The number three fish that was voted on overall was uh, number eight. The number two fish that was voted on overall was number 12. And the number one fish that was voted on overall, over all the different fish, was number 13. Kind of a surprise. I thought at least one of the cichlids would kind of rise up to the occasion and take the throne from the, the bettas. But definitely bettas win, as far as my viewership goes. Uh, the viewership that voted, anyway. Now, of the cichlids, the ones that did the best, uh, number three in the cichlids was number 20. Uh, number two in the cichlids was number 21. And number one in the cichlids, by quite a margin, was number 28. I really appreciate you guys uh, and all the encouragement that you gave me for filming all the stuff at the Aquatic Experience and working with that. Uh, I'm sorry that the, they kind of went on for a long time. It seemed like a whole month of videos was just aquatic experience, sometimes twice a week. But while all of that was going on, I was uh, completely redoing the room up here. I re removed my big desk that I had at, uh, in the corner. I, I've changed some stuff around. The only thing I can't move, obviously, are aquariums. Although I did swap a stand out for another <laughs> into another area. I'm kind of getting ready to sort of expand things and change things a little bit up here. Uh, I, made a, I made a nice big area in the back uh, for my board games and the Pet Tech Games channel. I wanted to make it really so I could film from two different angles on that table and it'd be like two different channels. Pretty neat. But with all that going on, I didn't have any major aquarium projects to go, go with at home. So I just uh, put out a lot of uh, aquatic experience stuff. To tell the truth, I still have one more video to do, but I don't think I feel like doing it. <laughs> I, I went through and I shot all the shrimp, uh, all the winners, just the winners of the shrimp contest, and it was still probably uh, a 10-minute video of tiny shrimp, tiny expensive shrimp. So if you guys want a shrimp game bonus video or something like that, just, just let me know. Hey, folks, thank you for joining me today. Uh, next week, I'll have an interview with Ted Judy. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed him up for an interview while he was hanging out at the house. So hopefully we'll have a great December, have an exciting December. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get another tank and set it up. Uh, at the very least, what I'm going to do after Ted's interview is uh, an all-aquarium update that people have been kind of screaming at me for. I'm going to go ahead and film that, and I'll get it ready, and you'll have that up uh, in the next couple of weeks. People are always excited to see that. I'm always hesitant to film them because I've got to clean all the aquariums up. <laughs> I keep them all really clean anyway, but having them all like look really nice on the same day when I'm filming is difficult. But it can be done and it will be done and you guys will see an all aquarium update very soon. And that wraps up another episode. Until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Back out in a minute, I promise. No, you just set us free. The hashtag my aquarium box, those guys are always looking for a fresh new video to award my aquarium. Uh, that the yeah. Show the box, be as creative as you like, and uh, share it. And then share it with with a <laughs> and then share it with to uh, award it. You guys are always looking for so it, it, so if you'd like to win it okay this can't
be all my bloopers. Can't be about the Mega Box. So if you'd like to win a Mega Box, be sure to in your 